this is Timothy Levine. I'm here at the Mount Tabor Lounge for our program Conversations. I'm here today with Mercedes Rose. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. So I know a little bit about you. Let's hear some things I don't know about you, your backstory. So you're telling me you've been stalking me. I've been trolling on the internet, <laughs> LinkedIn, Facebook. It's your amazing. Pr your presence is out there. Yes, I, I make sure my presence is out there. I like to know how do I brand things. Right, uh, right, absolutely. Right. So you're wanting to know what's not on the internet? Well, Sorry. we're going to tell you everything. <laughs> In about a minute, I'll tell you where she's at today. Okay. But before you became the actress and voiceover um, phenom that I know you to be, <laughs> what brought you to where you are today? What made the woman that is Mercedes Rose? Uh, probably being a redhead only child, Aries named Mercedes. Nice. I mean, what what else could I really have have done with my life but kind of show business and be a strong woman and be a strong woman? Re well, redheads. I mean, the gingers, you know, were kind of the minority. <laughs> so <laughs> I think a lot of why why I've kind of gotten into this business especially into producing, which is, you know, very much a problem solving kind of business mm -hmm. is, is literally being an only child with an odd name, you know, with a name like Mercedes Rose. Okay. I had to ask <laughs> you, okay. <laughs> Since I brought it up. Was that given to you at birth? It was, yes. Did your mom want you to be a stripper? Uh, you would think, right? <laughs> no, uh, she she really thought I'd have dark hair. My, my parents both have dark hair, and so my name was gonna be India Rose. Okay. And then I came out with red hair, and she was like, oh, that's not gonna work. And so she just sort of on the fly, it was the 70s. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, what can you do? Nice. So it, yeah, Mercedes Rose is my real name. Did she like to listen to Janis Joplin at all? Or? No, I don't think, I mean, maybe There's it was no the 70s. There? Okay, 70s um, I think yeah. it's more Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, okay, got yeah. the connection there. Yeah. You I, are, uh, full-fledged, sag after yes. card-handling actress. <laughs> yes, card-handling. And yes. what do you feel about the union? I'm a, a big proponent in the union. I was very interested in the merge because I was after first, doing a lot yeah. of voiceover, you know, after is sort of was our union right, right, right. for uh, radio artists. And so I was a big believer in the, in the merge. And, you know, I, I love it. I love the new SAG, new media agreement so good. that we can... So we're hearing some vo voices yeah. pro and con now. It's good to have a little balance. Yeah, I mean, I, there, there's a lot of things about the union that can be very frustrating when you're on the producing side. It, it, there's not always, it's not always easy to do the paperwork, right, but right. they've made it a lot easier, especially with the new media agreement. And uh, I know you're gonna jump ahead a little bit, but when we shot our first feature film, my production company, we actually did do it, union, under the new media agreement. So I, I did media. the paper, right. yeah, I did the paperwork because it, it was- It's gonna, worth it. Yeah. I, I talked to Mike Prosser the other yeah. day about his movie recovery and yeah. how they used the media thing and yeah. it really worked for him. Yeah, and we absolutely did it because we wanted the opportunity of using union actors and right, right. it worked great. We got Ted Rooney and Excellent. it made right it totally on. worth it. And then in the end, we ended up with a couple child actors that were union as well, so it worked out really well. L let's but go back to child actors. You have yeah. a child, uh, you're a mother. I am, and yes. And your child's also an actress. She is, yeah. We, our production company actually has a YouTube that's pretty popular. Coattail Productions. Coattail Productions is that's our production company. That's T-A-L-E. Yes, it's a story, it's a Coattail. Story. And um, our production company does The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, which okay. is a pretty popular YouTube Very channel. Very popular YouTube channel. And the URL is right here. <laughs> Put it right there, please. Right there, please. Yeah. Yes, please, check it out. Uh, yeah, I hate to talk about numbers because they change all the time in the world of YouTube, but we just passed 15 million views. You guys have to give yourself props. I mean, when <laughs> it comes to the staggering the amount of hits that you guys have for we, we a definitely, episode. Yes, we definitely figured out the YouTube game and it is absolutely a game. So, you know, we're having a lot of fun with it. But my daughter is the star, she's Sunshine. Right. And it's really fun, we get to work together and- Great casting. Yeah, it worked out well. <laughs> she's always on set when she's you need her. She's always on set when I need yeah, her. Right. Um, a set is home, so that works out well. Right, right. It's a Paranormal Activity meets Gilmore Girls. Right. So I watched a couple episodes mm -hmm. before this episode. I've yeah. been I've been following what you're doing. You're doing and your stalking. I, yeah, yeah, it's I've been all doing good. doing my stalking. It's all good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's engaging, um, and the production is really good too. Thank you. Who's doing the camera work and? A lot of it is Sunshine herself. It's all oh, kind okay. of flip cam, do like this. Uh, we do have a director. Nick Hagen is okay. our business partner, and the other third member of Coattail Productions, and so. A lot of the storyline is his. It is not scripted, though. We it's call not. It, I was going to nope. ask you about it. It seems organic. The it way she delivers the lines, very, I'm like, wow. Either, yeah. yeah okay, <laughs> it's it's nice. unscripted fictional reality is what we okay. call it. So, you know, it's it's very reality-based. You know, she's gluten-free, so Sunshine's gluten-free. <laughs> okay. She goes to homecoming, Sunshine goes to homecoming. Method acting, sort of. Right. Yeah. So the, it really is a reality show about our lives, which is great because we used to joke, you know, how do we how do we not have a camera just following us all the time? We're hilarious. Right, right, right. 
you got a family like yeah. that too? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. big time, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's fun because the audience, a lot of them don't believe that she really is my daughter. We right, really don't right. look that much alike. Now, everyone needs to go check out the channel so you can see how not alike we look. But we have a very, um, very real relationship that right. is, would be hard to fake. It's, it is very Gilmore Girls. I was wondering who did your casting because I didn't know until today yeah. that that was actually your daughter. Well, and we don't look alike. I mean, no. that, no. But it works. Yeah. The, the synergy between yeah. the two of you is uh, bar yeah. none. It, it works. It, and it's because I, it's I real. would believe you're, you're really your mother, yeah. <laughs> well, that, really amazing acting. So, yeah, that was one of our favorite comments, though, was couldn't you have found two actors that look more alike? Right, right, right. <laughs> it's like, oh, more alike than mother daughter? Yeah. Well, we talked about your viral presence. Uh, one of the things I've loved about reading your Facebook um, <laughs> quips every day and your postings is, uh, as you call yourself, an inspirational... Um, a motivational, a motivational entertainer. entertainer. <laughs> uh, you're spreading, and I quote, spreading the idea of living a positive, joy-filled life while pursuing your passions. It's good, and isn't I it? Th yeah, <laughs> it's, it's good, good stuff. With all the you know cats and puppies and negative political stuff I see on Facebook, it's nice to see a refreshing little post here and there. Well, I try. I definitely try to keep um, sort of that part of my personality as part of my brand because it really is you who, know, you who I am. Right, and right, if you're right. on set with me, you will you know see that. that. Yeah. Right. And uh, I know sometimes people do think it's fake, and I do. I've had friends of friends be like, "Well, you know, around Portland, people think you're kind of fake." I'm like. There's nothing fake here. I mean, yeah, yeah right. I'd go much bigger if I was going to go fake. <laughs> uh, but but it's one of the things that we love is that every time we have an audition call for Coattails, it's all of our actors that have already worked with us. It's Christopher Toyne and Adrian Vogel okay. and Lindsay Klein. They're the ones that all email immediately and are like, right. can, can we, you know, can I get in on this? And that to us Why? Means, because she knows you, likes to work with well, you. Well, they know what history. we're like on set. Right. They, they know, know that expect. this is real and right, they know right, what right. to expect. And No surprises. Yeah. Right. This is what you get. Uh, yeah. This is it. It's, <laughs> it's and, and if it comes me. off as fake, well, well, yeah. then that's that's the best I can do. Have a conversation with me and maybe you'll find out who I really am. Yeah, pretty much. You know, like what we're doing today. Yeah. Um, we've worked um, on the same set. Um, you were on Leverage. Yes. And you did a very believable role. Uh, you <laughs> Thank were, you. <laughs> you were hot for Christian Kane. <laughs> and I still believe you're hot for Christian Kane. That is fine but acting. It, it's good acting. Yeah, he's very nice. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. He's just not my type. Not your type. Not so much. No. But it, it's always nice to look on TV and see our people in our Absolutely. community uh, on the TV. Absolutely. You know? I never get tired of it. Yeah, yeah my episode actually re-aired on, on New Year's Eve. And you and got I, a lot of calls, right? Yeah, it, it's uh -huh. like I love that it aired on the beginning of a new year. It's like, right, okay, right. that's a good sign. And it really, 2013 has been amazing already. So I think that was a true sign. But I had a great time on Leverage. I loved it. I loved being a cop. Um, they let me ad lib. It was John Rogers' first uh, directing. Right. So that was He's fun really to work fun. with, I hear. Super fun to work with. And I was on the two arc episode that was two or two episode arc I guess is how you say it, it was that the was boys the boys night, night out and right, the girls right, night right, out right, so right. you know every time you get to set people would be like are you boys team or girls right, team right, it's right. like I'm a girl on the boys <laughs> team and and you know my scenes were with Christian Kane and Aldous Hodge and um, Aldous loved to work with yeah Aldous. it was great and I got to work with my dogs from Talented Animals okay. Lauren's dogs and that was awesome and it was really funny because that was an ad lib I have a line where he's like what are their names and it was a total ad lib I didn't know he was going to do that and right, I'm like right. um, Tinky and Bitsy and I'm like oh I feel so bad I really know their names it's Justice and Jury totally should have used their real names <laughs> felt so bad after but I was you know in the moment right, right, and, right. yeah and then happened. they ended up using it in the cut so right on that uh, was super fun I was checking down your filmography I was, mm -hmm. while I was doing my, my viral research? stalking, Excellent. my research, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we all do it. I think the geeks will be happy to know that you did a lot of voiceover work on a lot of video games, one of them being Star Trek. I did. What was yes. the voice on that? I actually did about four different voices. I was a Vulcan. I didn't have any names in any all of right, them. For all right, for all the nerds out there, can you do some uh, Vulcan voice? You know voice? what? I don't, I don't oh, even come remember on. any of it. I, I'd probably get in trouble for doing it. All right, yeah. all right. You How know, it, when you do a lot of voiceover, you kind of, it you kind of all blends together. Well, let me ask you this. Are you allowed to give us some uh, Princess... Uh, Rosalina. Rosalina? Yeah, from Nintendo. Um, you know, really, that is absolutely just a version of me. It's just, right. Mario! You get paid for that. Yeah, I mean, really, it is. Wow. It makes my, my, my kid crazy, though, because she'll be playing, and, it, and I, if you lose, I'll say... Right. I'll say, oh well, she's crazy. She's like, mom, stop it. I'm like, it's not mom, honey, it's Princess Rosalina. Oh <laughs> this well. This is pain for your college, girl, mm -hmm. be quiet. Yeah. Cracking the Code, that's another local movie mm -hmm. that, um, that I know a lot about. Um, another great movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? Yeah, was that, that fun to work on or really what? It was really fun, it was really fun, yeah. That's actually um, how I got my Taft-Hartley for the union. Okay. And then I um, actually had to join because of leverage. 
So you, that you had to join, or well, you, you chose to, to? Well, no, you have to. I mean, you don't really have a choice after your second one. And right, then right, since right. then, of course, I've done a lot of union. But um, yeah, yeah, what the bleep was really fun. Marley Matlin is amazing. Really great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, what are you doing now? You Up know, coming stuff. The production stuff takes a lot of time. Uh, so the Haunting of Sunshine Girl is a huge part of it. And then our production company is also starting on a zombie web series, Breaking News. Like there's not enough like, zombie movies know, in Portland. I know, <laughs> This is a web series though. Okay. So um, Breaking News, this, you know, it's the first. Oh, this know, is, we're, we're yeah, dropping this you, news right here. the public. You hear that guys? Yeah. All right, yeah. again, what is this called? It's called Zombie Ridge. And zombie Ridge. Yeah, Zombie Ridge. And the entire town of Ridgefield, Washington is behind us. Nice. So they're giving us locations and they're going to come be extras for us and they're letting right. us shut down Main Street. And yeah. Wow. So if you want to be a zombie extra, let me know. I can hook you I, up. I will definitely uh, send some zombies your yeah, way. Yeah, right so on. it's going to be fun. And then we have another web series um, that we've been hired to do about the screen printing industry. So it'll be oh. a comedy. Think of the office. Okay. So that's fun. Um, and then I'm also, uh, I work for Portland General Electric. I'm their spokesperson. I was going to ask you what your day job is. Oh, is no, I don't have a day job. Okay. Acting is my day job, but I'm a spokesperson. Wow. I'm a spokesperson. No waitress saying mm -hmm. nothing. I would be a terrible waitress. Wow. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I do switch labs for Portland General Electric, okay. which is a little bit like uh, Mythbusters for the energy usage. Right. So that's really fun. So is that online too? It is, okay. yeah. You can look it up at switchlabs.com. And I love that because a lot of students see it. I have and to ask you, Uncle uh, Tommy. Uncle Tommy is one of our characters from The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Oh, okay. And so he's one of our really popular characters. So you're spinning and Uncle Tommy it's a off. Spin off, right? Okay. Yeah, we have got a couple spin offs. So wow. we actually have four channels total, and then we have these two new channels starting up. So, and then I'm also the spokesperson for Zoom Care. So if you're not okay. feeling well, Call Zoom, Zoom Care. Care. Yeah, I'm Patience Rage. I'm Excellent. a Zoomer. So the you know those like ongoing clients definitely take up a lot of time right, right. And, you know that's the, but that's what we want to do as actors we want to be full time acting and do you so. find enough auditions and work in Portland to keep eat food on your table or more you going than to LA <laughs> or more than uh, no I mean I do work outside of the market because I do voiceover so much so right. I have clients kind of all over the world I'm, I'm huge in Alabama got a lot of voiceover nice. clients in Alabama um, but no I do all right I stay busy enough that I love that you know. And so you're a Portland homegrown I am girl, Portland, you gotta stay? Yeah, Rose City all the way. Yeah, right on. Portland, uh, born and raised. So, Mercedes, is there anything else you'd like to tell our listeners, watchers, about <laughs> what you're doing that I might not have brought up? You know, I just, for me, it's, it's a huge thing that I feel like people think sometimes that they can't work in this industry, that they don't have, they're not pretty enough, they're not tall enough, they're not smart enough, whatever. And I'm here to say if I can do it from Portland, and you know, have no boobs, and you know, just be kind of myself. I think anybody can, and I just, nice. I always want people to really believe in the power of their dreams. And as cheesy as that sounds, and I know it sounds cheesy, that's just what I feel like is important for people to remember. And Excellent. don't give up. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Nice, <laughs> nice words from a nice woman, Mercedes Rose. Thanks again for joining us. Of course. With Conversations, this is Timothy Levine with Mercedes Rose here at the Mount Tabor Lounge. A special thanks to Chick. Thanks again for watching Conversations. Have a good night.